this is a board that my dad made. It's pretty sturdy, but he took uh, some balls from the store and put them here. It's like a big piece of wood that he made. Pretty strong. And mold up a bag like this. You just keep our bags here. You see, it's just a ball. So you can yeah. just. And then it on really off really easily. Yeah. 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 Also, this one is just a little bit heavy, but it, it's still, it still is the same. So, yeah. So this project started with five pieces of pallet wood I cut in between the stringer. They were pretty dirty, so I started to clean them up with the metal brush on my grinder. Just by uh, rubbing that metal wire brush against the wood, it just dug in between the, the grain and it made it pop. And to, to my eyes, it looked amazing. I was careful with the blowtorch not to burn too much wood. I didn't want to have it too dark. On the front piece I have two cross braces that I just use again the uh, metal wheel on it and the blowtorch just to give it a little bit of color. And then on the back side I marked and drilled a piece of aluminum this is to give it some strength. I wanted those five pieces of wood to hold on tight together. And I really thought that those little two pieces of wood, uh, the cross braces, wouldn't be strong enough. So that's why I, uh, I decided to go with the uh, piece of aluminum on the back. And that piece of aluminum is screwed down with uh, wood screws, uh, two per board. On the front side, only one of those two cross braces have glue and it's not the one that has the aluminum piece on the back. I use some nails, I use two nails per board it looks really good and then at the top I put two nails also but I didn't punch them all the way in so I can remove them and underneath uh, my anchor screws that's where they're gonna go and be hidden by that uh, cross brace I marked the emplacement where I want my hooks to go I decided to go with three of them so made three holes the same size of my uh, screws. This is the fun part. It's always uh, when you see the grain taken color. Um, for my stain, I use vinegar mixed with a little bit of uh, steel wool. I let it sit for four days. And when you apply it, it comes kind of a reddish tone. But when it dries, it looks darker. So I was pretty happy with the, uh, the result. And then when dry, I came back and I used some Veritane. Uh, this one is uh, water-based. It's milky when you apply it, but it dries off clear. And this one is a matte, matte color. I usually leave the uh, paintbrush in, uh, in the can because I tend to use it quite often. And it saves on paintbrushes. So I came back the next day once dry and I put the screws for uh, the hooks. And the hooks are just uh, uh, sports ball. So one is a soccer ball, one is a tennis ball, and the other one is a basketball. The kids really like them. They're pretty expensive. I got them at Lowe's for $15 a piece. I'm in the wrong type of jobs. So anyway, back in the house, I needed to find the stud because it had to be really sturdy. 
So once the studs were found, I just uh, put my, uh, my screws on the board and that's right underneath the uh, decorative piece. And those screws are screwed right into the stud. Plenty of strength. So it looked pretty good. I was really happy with it. So my two anchor screws, they go right into the board and then behind is the aluminum piece and it goes right to the stud to give it the maximum strength. Then I came back and installed the decorative piece that would uh, hide the uh, holding screw. Thanks for watching.